3D printed houses are becoming available in many countries around the world, which means that right now you can head to places like Denmark, the UK, America, Germany, Japan, or Holland, pick up the phone, and order a 3D printed house constructed on your landlot. Sounds magical, right? Well, maybe. There are many questions surrounding this innovation that are still hard to answer. Is it as great as 3D companies advertise it? Why do some experts say that it is bad for the economy? Is it really environmentally friendly? And why on earth is it heading to the moon and Mars? All of this leads us to ask a basic question. How 3D printed homes are built? The answer is simple. If the home was to be built by the printer on site and not in a factory as a prefab home and delivered in pieces, then the construction firm must set up rails around the building site to guide the printer's robotic arm on where to lay the paste-like building mixture. Once everything is set up, they can start printing. The 3D printer uses additive manufacturing to print the building materials layer by layer. This printing material is heated and squeezed through a nozzle to complete one layer of the build at a time. The foundations, walls, and slabs dry fairly quickly and do not need steel bars for reinforcement because the cement mixture is made thicker than the usual mix used in traditional construction. Additionally, other materials as used to make it dry rather fast and result in a strong, solid structure that supports itself. The structure's walls are also hollowed out to allow for utility lines to pass through and reduce the amount of materials used. We are obligated to inform you here that 3D printing is the future of humanity, but not on Earth, and rather in outer space. Right now, there is a lot of crazy space-related stuff happening. NASA is well on its way to building the first habitat on the moon by 2026 and another one on Mars by 2030. The Chinese, Europeans, and Russians are also following the same steps and have their own programs or are partners in NASA's program. 3D printing solved a massive obstacle space agencies were facing, more particularly, how to get massive and complex habitats to the moon and Mars. The solution is 3D printed habitats that use the soil and sand present on the moon and Mars. This means space agencies only have to ship large folded 3D structure printers to the lunar and Martian surfaces, along with some polymers that once mixed with sand or soil become as solid as concrete. This fact reduces the payload these agencies have to send to space by as much as 90% since small amounts of polymers are mixed with massive amounts of soil to make the structure. Small amounts of water are needed to build habitats the size of a small apartment building. And by the way, these alien habitats will look like domes. The 3D technology is ready, however. So far, Elon Musk's SpaceX, which was given the contract for delivering the payloads to both the Moon and Mars, failed in proving that its super-heavy rockets can deliver the payloads because their last test failed. Nevertheless, there is optimism and great certainty that the next mission will succeed. Let's go back to Earth now. Many people think that the whole 3D printing concept is new. However, it has been around for at least three decades and it had its fair share of ups and downs. The difference today is that the technology is way more advanced and can be used on a large scale. Using 3D printing to construct homes or commercial buildings started to become a reality in 2020. Today, the industry is worth billions of dollars and growing at the rate of 23% per year. One of the main obstacles this industry is facing is related to the fact that there are no regulations or processes to get 3D printed buildings approved for residential or commercial use. Governments around the world have yet to come up with standards that must be followed as far as electrical, plumbing, structural integrity, and public safety codes. There is also the issue of engineering compatibility. Very few architects and engineers have taken an interest in 3D printed buildings because this new technology requires architects and civil engineers to learn a whole new field that still does not make much sense since it leaves very little space for uniqueness and creativity. Today, very few people live in 3D printed homes which are still considered experimental projects to show the technology's capabilities. However, they are being built and people do live in them. Here are some examples. One of the most remarkable examples is the 3D printed house by SQ4D, which was listed for sale in Riverhead, New York for $300,000 back in 2021. In 2021, Habitat for Humanity partnered with the firm Alquist 3D 
and has been delivering affordable housing to low-income families since then, but rather in small numbers. Their first 3D printed house was delivered in Williamsburg, Virginia, back in December 2021, and more are being delivered this year. There is also the East 17th Street Residences Project in Austin, Texas, which was developed by the firm Three Strands, a real estate developer, and Icon Construction 3D Printing Company. They have developed and sold a few houses and are still working on more. However, two of the houses are listed on Airbnb, so you can try them out if you like. The biggest 3D printed homes development is happening as we speak in Austin, Texas. It is called the Genesis Collection, co-designed with the notorious Bjark Ingels Group, and it includes a 100-house community. You can definitely expand your portfolio by giving them a call and buying one. The 3D printed homes mania is also picking up pace in places like Holland, Germany, Britain, and Japan, However, the market for these homes is quite weak, and many of the projects are still experimental. Are 3D printed homes cheaper, built faster, and better for the environment than homes built with traditional construction methods? The answer is no, due to many reasons. Here are the main ones. A two-story, four-bedroom family home can be printed on site in about 48 hours. However, you won't be able to move in since it takes up to six more months to make it ready. It is true that the home foundations, interior and exterior walls, along with the slab for the second floor and the roof, would be ready quite fast. However, the living spaces would be merely plain concrete and polymer structures without any plumbing, electrical work, light fixtures, kitchen, bathrooms, windows, doors, and pretty much everything else that makes a home suitable for living. The materials used today by all known 3D printing firms are the same as those used in traditional construction. In fact, cement is the main component in 3D printed homes, and as you know, cement is an oil byproduct. They all also use other polymers that are nothing but various forms of plastic and hard rubber. So in a nutshell, 3D printed homes are not all that great for the environment. Here is another thing. The final product is just as expensive, if not more, as a regular home of the same size. In many of the cases we have checked, we found that the location was the main reason why advertised 3D homes are up to 25% cheaper. Right now, 3D printed homes are almost 100% based on the use of petroleum byproducts that will only increase oil demand, which as we already know, is not just a source of pollution, but also a source of conflict. Additionally, the world is running out of oil faster than you think. So what about the economic benefits? If you care about the economy, you should not buy a 3D printed home because the alleged lower costs associated with this product are actually a result of labor cost savings. Some of these 3D home printing firms are going as far as blaming high housing costs and shortages on labor shortages, which is total BS because that is not true not even remotely. Nevertheless, this technology is a blessing for natural disaster relief efforts. For example, the recent earthquake in Turkey put more than a million people in the streets in mere hours during harsh cold weather. In such situations, small and mid-sized 3D printed homes and related emergency infrastructure can be quickly delivered. In a nutshell, the concept of 3D homes can be inherently good as long as it is aimed to improve the economy and human life which cannot be achieved without the creation of jobs, the use of renewable energy, and environmentally friendly materials that are recyclable and sustainable in the long term. In conclusion, 3D printing is a magnificent invention and technology that has great potential and endless applications. However, as far as we can tell, 3D printed homes represent a technology that is limited on Earth to humanitarian causes and emergencies, but irreplaceable as a tool for helping humanity become a multi-planetary species. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, share, and do subscribe, as we will continue to take you on positive journeys about some of the most fascinating, massive, daring, progressive, and futuristic mega-projects from around the world.